Is there anything worse than a wore out key fob battery? No. All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Harley Davidson key fobs and the security systems, okay? Um, they've had security systems for since the early 2000s. I don't remember exactly what year they come out, probably around 2000, something like that. Um, and they've only really had a couple, two or three different fob styles since then, okay? And I've kind of got all three of the different fob styles here. Um, early on, they had this fob which had a button in the middle of it so you could turn the security on or off with uh, uh, driven by the button, okay? It wasn't a proximity fob. Um, so you actually turn it on, turn it off. Then around 2007, they went to a, what they call as a proximity fob right here. This has been the most common uh, fob for Harley-Davidson motorcycles, security fob, and um, they used it from around, I think, 2007 to today. Uh, and are currently still using it. And basically, you walk up to the bike, it 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 senses the fob when you turn it on, uh, allows the bike to start. When you walk away, it turns off, uh, it turns on the security system, so the security system is is um, activated. Very simple process. Works really, really good. Um, these both use the same battery. It's a number 2032. It's a three-volt battery. So they both use the same battery. Um, then Harley Davidson, when they come out with the Pan America, they introduced a new fob. It's a little bit smaller, um, and it uses a 1632 battery as the number. Um, it's still a three volt, but it's physically a smaller battery. Uh, kind of comparison, that battery is about the size of a quarter. This one's about the size of a dime. Um, consequently, it doesn't last as long. Okay, these batteries, um, normal life, uh, honestly, is around two years. Seems like. Normal life on a Pan America fob is about one year, so you need to change it out. Now, a lot of people just put a fresh one in every spring and go. But sometimes you may be getting ready to go on a trip and you don't want to have a problem, okay? So what I would suggest, you can actually check the battery, check what the voltage is to know if it's good or bad. Um, so um, if you don't want to just put a new fob in it. So basically what I do is I take a small screwdriver or a dime or whatever and you split that fob right apart. Open him up, and there is the battery. You will make note as to which position the battery is in. That is the negative side, okay? And negative side on this fob is up, okay? Take the battery out, and I got my voltmeter on direct current, and I'm going to check the fob, fob battery here, and it is 3.02 volts. So that fob battery is good. Um, it just gives you a little more security if you're getting ready to go on a big trip um, and you want to make sure your five battery is good instead of just replacing it, you can check it. It's below three volts. I'd put one in it. If it's above, you're good. Um, so put the five battery back in. And again, uh, it does say on the cover which side is plus. And, and, and so make sure you put that fob battery back in the exact same direction and it just snaps right back together. Just like that. And that's all there is to it. Uh, very simple process, but it's very important. So I would suggest to uh, check your fob battery or just replace it so you're ready to go for the season. Thanks.